I'd like to talk to you today about preparing for fumigation, and there's only a few things that you need to be concerned about. Probably the most important thing you'll need to worry about is bagging your food. And the simple rule of thumb is anything that's orally ingestible, that is not in a sealed bottle, jar, or a can, has to be bagged. So for example, a jar has a top that goes pop when you open it. A bottle has some form of paper or a seal that seals it prior to entry. Cans obviously need a can opener to open. And items like wine will have either a cork or some sort of a seal that shows that it's never been opened. So that is the key to what items don't have to be fumigated, is that they simply have a factory tamper-proof seal that's never been broken. If for any reason those seals have been broken, then you will indeed need to fumigate them. So for example, peanut butter that's been opened has had the seal removed. Bottled water that has the broken seal on the, around the edge. You need to address all your products that are not in a seal of any kind, so produce and items in the refrigerator will also need to be bagged. When you're ready to bag your food, you're going to need to get all the food from throughout your house, and that'll include the RV sauce in the back drawer of your kitchen, mints, candies, chewing gum, and all of your food products. You need to bag your, your food in the bags that are provided by the fumigator. If for any reason you run out, please let us know so we can give you more bags. You're going to need to double bag, which means you simply take the first bag, replace it inside the second bag. Just like that. Then you place all of your food that's either opened or has an inappropriate seal inside the bags. Go ahead and place all your food products in there. You're going to take the inside bag, you're going to twist it, you're going to kink it over and that creates the seal we're looking for. You simply hold that seal with masking tape, rubber bands, or twist cuts. Once the inside seal has been done, do it one more time. Seal it with the tape. And the tape is simply holding the kink in the bag. You're not sealing it with the tape. Once that's completed, you can leave this finished bag anywhere you like. If they do have refrigerator type items, place that back in the refrigerator. And since it'll probably be larger than it was, if you simply remove the, the drawer or the shelf, you can set the whole bag inside. One note, squeeze as much air out of it as you can because if that bag holds the door open, the food's going to spoil. Your fumigator will need access to all the interior spaces within the structure. All the doors will be locked during the fumigation will never be left open and the windows will also be locked in position. Uh, they will need a key to the interior. They'll need to be able to access and you'll need to provide that key to the fumigator. Uh, vehicles may be left in the garage, but again, they are a confined space and we'll need access to their interiors, including the garage. Please note that valet keys do not allow us into the, into the trunk and that can be a problem. Areas within the, the structure that are normally locked, such as safes, closets, and office doors will need to be unlocked during the fumigation process. If you do have a safe, please let us know in advance so we can make special precautions so you don't have to leave that, that area completely open. Before we can fumigate, the gas service is going to have to be turned off by the gas company. The fumigation company will call to schedule that appointment to have the gas turned off, and that will occur between 7 and 12 o'clock on the day of the fumigation. You won't have to meet the fumigators for that part. You will need to call the gas company to schedule the restore appointment. Uh, that appointment will be on the day you return home. You can schedule that as early as 12 o'clock and you will need to meet the gas company and let them in. They'll want to check all your pilots to make sure that they're operating before they turn the gas back on. 